What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we've got Plan B once again. We have a deck profile. This time it is an updated version of my Triple D DDD deck profile. Big shout out to my boy Shadow Realm Yu-Gi-Oh for the deck idea. I even I even also added a few additional cards, both actually not just in, in, in not just into the main but also into the, into the extra and the side, just to give it a little more extra consistency and a little more power, so to speak. So, this is a pretty a pretty cool a pretty cool um, a pretty cool deck list. It's a lot. It's vaguely similar to the last one, but I did but but as I mentioned, I did add a few other cards to the list. And at the time that I'm that I'm that I'm recording this video, it's actually Wednesday, December first. Um, the reason why I'm just I'm I'm doing it uh, this late at night, which is like 7 p.m. right now, um, is because is because actually I've got some other business I've got some other uh, some other uh, business to attend to uh, tomorrow, which will be when you guys will see this, which will be Thursday. So yeah, so unfortunately, so but it's all good. It's all good. I am not complaining about it. Anyway, without any further ado, I'm, I'm just gonna get straight in into the deck profile. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you do enjoy, enjoy the. If you do, if you can I speak? Can I speak? Um, if you guys do enjoy the deck profile, and you guys want to see more deck profiles in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, smash that thumbs up button, and be sure to follow me on my socials. Links will be in the description below. And of course, for and of course for fan mail, if you if you guys want to send fan mail and want me to open it up on, open it up on the channel, my address will be in, in the description as well. And let's get straight into it. First up, first up, the most obvious, we are running one copy of Go Triple D Divine Zero King Rage. Its effects, its pendulum effect reads reads if you would take if you would take effect damage, you take no damage. If you normal summon a level, a level five or Higher double D monster, you can do it without tributing. You can only use each pendulum effect of this card once per turn. So not only is this a so so not only is this a a pendulum version of so so not only is this a pendulum a pendulum monster for a, a pendulum version of Oracle King Dark minus minus gain minus the whole life point gain. You you can basically just summon any 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 of your higher uh any of your five star or higher uh, D monsters without even tributing anything. So it's like kind of like a it's kind of the hell is up with my my desk. It's it's basically it's basically ancient rules, which is absolutely nuts. And then its monster effect says says when this card declares an attack if your opponent's life points is 4000 or less you can make this card gain gain attack equal to your opponent's life points until the end of this turn cannot be destroyed by battle also you take no damage from battles involving this card you contribute one other monster apply one of these effects until the end of the turn this card can attack directly this your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in the spell trap zones your opponent cannot activate cards effects in their hand or graveyard so with this so, with this, so with this, what's cool about this card is that it can it can stop it can stop hand traps. So you can just easily so you can easily overcommit your board and not have to worry about Nibiru. You don't have to worry about cards like Ash Blossom, Ghost Bell. You don't have to worry about any of them. And not only that, not only that, but but. If you set back row while while this card is is face up on the field, you don't have to worry about your opponent about the back row because your opponent can't activate activate cards that are in their in their back row, which could be Harvey's Feather Duster, it could be some Judgment. They can't activate them at all, which is basically which is incredible. So it's basically a protection for the whole deck itself, which is just absolutely insane. Next up, I'm actually running one of the more one of the most Weird cards you will ever hear me say, but I'll explain why here in a second. It is, it is Triple D Destiny King Zero Lapis. If you guys have never seen this card before, I believe this was from one of the structure decks, if, if, if I remember correctly. But it is a 10 star. I believe it is 10. Let's see. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Yeah. So it is a ten star dark fiend pendulum with with question mark attack and zero defense, and its pendulum scale is one. And the pendulum effect reads: During your main phase, you can add a face-up DD, a face-up triple D pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. So it, and and obviously, except this card, and you can only use this effect once per turn. So this is basically, it's basically extra deck Rota, basically, which is pretty crazy. Um, funny enough, the Dino Mists actually have something similar to this effect which is just absolutely hilarious so again it's basically it's basically rota but for the extra deck so if you have pendulum monsters in your in in your extra deck face sub you can just you can just easily add those add, add one of them back to your hand once per turn which would allow you which would allow allow you to combo off and there's quite a few pendulums in this deck so it's going to be it's pretty insane. Now for its monster effect, it reads: it reads, you can special summon this card from your hand by attributing one triple D monster before, by by attributing one triple D monster. So basically, all so basically all you do is summon is tribute like say, we'll say Chaos King Abyss. Let's just say that, and you summon this, and you're off to the races there. Um, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can activate this effect. This card's attack. Becomes double that opponent's monster's original attack until the end of the damage step. If this card, if this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. The first time this card would be shown by battle battle each turn, it is not, and you take no damage from that battle. So again, again, it's another protection card. But but what's cool about this is that it ensures that 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 this card's attack becomes double your opponent's original. So so let's say for example, let's say for example your opponent has Cyber End Dragon. Let's just say that, which has obviously has 4K. This card would go up to 8K, and your opponent would take four 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 thousand damage right off the bat. And the best part is that you take no damage. So it has the effects of of you Bell, where you take no damage at all, and this card is not destroyed in battle, which is just absolutely insane. So that's why that's why that's why I decided to to run this card plus not only that plus not not plus not only that it's 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 a level, it's a level 10 so it can easily work so it, it, it can work perfectly with triple d omnesty king 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 death mocking machina which i'll talk about him once we get into the extra deck so it so it, it works perfectly and plus Divine Zero King Rage is also a level 10, so it works even more perfectly. Next up, we have two copies of Triple D Oblivion King Abyss Ragnarok. Um, this card is just absolutely nuts. So, so basically, with the effect, with its pendulum effect, it reads, it reads, if you special summon a Double D monster or monsters, except during the damage step, you can target one DD monster in your grave. Any battle damage your opponent takes becomes half for the rest of the turn. Also special summon that monster, and if you do take a thousand damage, you can only use this, this effect once per turn. So it basically, so it basically just ensures that you're able to have another body on board to go into your synchro plays, maybe e even 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 your link plays, depending on depending on, on the board say. Yes, you do take a thousand, but 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 what's cool but what's cool about this is that if you have if you have or if you have oral if you have oracle king dark on the field. You don't like you don't take the damage. You gain the damage as as life points. Excuse me. So it just so it basically just so it's essentially just a free a, a free summon without having to pay any life any life points, which is just nuts. And its monster effect says if this card is normal special summon, you can you can target a DD you can target a triple D monster in your grave. Special summon. You can only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn, you contributed one of you contribute one other DD monster. The target of monster your opponent controls banish it. So it's like a bottomless trap hole. So it's so so with its monster effect. It's monster reborn, bottomless trap hole rolled into one, which is absolutely crazy. Plus it's a level eight. Plus it's it's level eight, so it can help you go into none other than Don King Duo Don King Kali Yuga, which is just insane. Which is just absolutely insane. Absolutely nuts. Um. Literally, it's just like, 
Just absolutely crazy. Um. Anyway, all right, all right, okay. Anyway, moving on. Sorry, I got I I got a little side I I I got sidetracked for for a second. Next up, sorry. Anyway, next up we have one copy of Triple D Chaos King Apocalypse. Its pendulum effect is kind of kind of kind of weird, but it says but it says you can manage two DD monsters from your grave, plus some recover from your pendulum zone. So, not the greatest, but it is a level seven body on board, which could help you go into your which could help you go into your synchro plays, potentially in even in your Potentially to your pen, to your fusion place if need be, but his monster effects where is where it gets really really interesting because its effect reads reads during your opponent's turn this card if this card is in your hand or graveyard you can target two face up spell spell traps you control you cannot spell some monsters for the rest of the turn except fiend type monsters also should destroy the targeted cards and if you do spell spell, spell some of this card which is a quick effect you can only use this effect once per turn so you're basically distributing two of your back row. To summon, to summon Chaos King Abyss, which is pretty insane. But what's cool about this is that, is that, he basically just ensures that you're that you can. Um, he 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 basically just ju again he he ensures that you have another body on board from that, which is just absolutely insane. Next up, we have two copies of the of the newest card. That will be coming out of Battle of Chaos. It is du it is Double D Griffin. If you guys have never seen this card before, it is a it's a four star Dark Fiend Pendulum with twelve hundred attack and defense, and its Pendulum effect reads: You can target one Fiend monster you control. It gains five hundred attack for each Dark Contract spell or trap with different names you control, and in your graveyard until the end of the turn. Then destroy then destroy this card. You can only use this effect once per turn. It's basically it's basically it's basically Mage Power. But it's a little more revamped, if you will. So, which is really cool. Plus, it's 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 a little four, so it can easy, so you can easily, so you can easily go 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 into your synchro place without without having any hassle, if need be. Um, and then its monster effect says if you control, if if you control a DD monster, you can spell some you can special summon this card from your hand into this position. If this card is pendulum summon, you can discard a one DD or Dark contract card, draw one card. If this card is special summon from the grave, you can add a DD card from your deck to your hand, except this card. You can only use each effect once per turn. So not only is this a so, so not only so not only is this a cyber dragon, but it's also a but it's also a a dark world dealings. Plus it's also Plus, it's also a Rhoda all rolled in a one as far as as far as its monster effect goes, which is just absolutely insane. Plus it, it, it can basically help you go go into pretty much any of your uh, pretty much any of these any of these monsters can help you go in, in into your fusions even in, even in your synchro plays for that matter as well which is just absolutely nuts. Um, so with that being said, moving on, moving on into the double D to the double D savant uh, pendulum monsters. First up, we have two copies of Savant Galilei. Galilei is really cool because because its pendulum effect. Says you cannot, you cannot, you cannot pendulum summon monsters except DD monsters. This effect cannot be negated. So basically, not even solemn judgment could could, could stop it. Once per turn during the standby phase, increases the card's pendulum scale by two, maximum ten. Then destroy all monsters you control with a, with a level less than or equal to this card's pendulum scale except DD monsters. So basically, all of your monsters will be safe. Basically, which is absolutely nuts. Plus. Plus it's a plus it's a ten star plus it's I believe it's a ten star yeah so it can it can easily work perfectly with um it can e easily work perfectly with with a card like say Flame High King Genghis uh, it can work perfectly with um with um pretty much that yeah and and even also too. Even also to Omnisty King as well, which is even more hilarious as well. But its monster effect is where where things get really interesting because its effect reads: during other player's turn, you could discard this card to target a DD or dark contract card you control, return it to the hand. So it's basically a compulsory evacuation, a compulsory evacuation device, which is not too bad. But you're mainly going to be using it just to you're mainly going to be using it for its pendulum scales for for the most part. Then we have Savant Thomas. Thomas is really cool because its effect because the pendulum effect says. It says during your main phase you can add a face up DD pendulum monster from your from your extra deck to your hand 
And this effect is a once per turn. So again, it's another form of Rota for the extra deck, which is crazy. Monster effect reads, you can target a DD card in your Pendulum Zone, destroy that card, and if you do, special summon a level 8 Triple D monster from your deck in defense position, but for the rest of the turn, its effects, if any, are negated, and any battle damage your opponent takes becomes half. You can use this effect once per turn. So, basically, you could just summon any triple, any triple D monster you want, and you're able to just go go off from there. You can even go into your fusion plays as well, and you, you, you don't even have to attack. All you gotta do is just go into your fusion plays, go into your single plays, send pass, and that's it. You're, and you're pretty much off to the races from there. Next up, we have one copy of Savant Newton. Newton is kind of an odd one. It's, it's kind of an odd one, but what's cool about this one is that he is that his pendulum effect reads you cannot special summon you cannot pendulum summon monsters except DD monsters this effect cannot be negated and again uh, except for DD monsters so you're pretty much just oh, you're pretty much just golden that uh, there because all of your because all of your D, all, all of your monsters are DD monsters except for one there's only one that actually works perfectly with this deck and I'll explain once we get to the end of the monsters um Anyway, so its other pendulum effect says, once while this card is in your pendulum zone, you can negate and activate a trap effect that would inflict damage to, your, to you, then destroy this card. So pretty much, cards like uh, Judgment, tr cards like Judgment of Anubis, perhaps. Uh, I know that Ring of Destruction could also work out as well. Uh, Secret Barrel. This works. This card works perfectly going up against the Exodia Mystic Mind decks because those decks deal burn damage, and this card just basically stops s stops those effects. Then their tracks. Then their tracks, which is hilarious um yeah basically it, it would be is in, in that matchup is basically competitive versus jank which is fucking hilarious anyway it's anyway anyway it's monster effect reads you can discard this card then target a dd or dark contract in your grave accept this card add it to your hand so it's basically a monster reincarnation basically so it's basically monster reincarnation but without the use of the spell itself which is absolutely insane then we have double d then, then, then we have Double Savant Copernicus. Copernicus is actually really good because because this card because as because just like um because just like Galileo, but you know um just just like just like Galileo and just like uh, Newton. Copernicus also has the same effect where it says you can only you can only pendulum summon double D mon only summon DD monsters, but its other effect is is even more interesting. Once while this card is in your pendulum zone, you can negate and activate a spell that would inflict damage to you, then destroy this card. So it's basically one for one. So you basically Send you basically send this card from your pendulum zone to the grave, and you negate the spell effect, which would deal you damage. So it could be cards like, cards like poison, poison the old man, cauldron of, of the old man would be another one that could stop it. Um, I believe cauldron, cauldron. Let's see, cauldron of the old man. When when this card is activated, place a counter on it. Once per turn, you can during your standby phase place a counter on this card. Once per turn, you can. Activate one of these effects. Gain 500 life points for each counter on this card. Inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each counter on this card. Yeah, so basically, so basically, Cauldron of the Old Man, Poison of the Old Man, cards like those can easily can easily be 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 negated off of the effects of a card like say Copernicus. And then and then for the for for the last of the Savants and Pendulum Monsters, we have Triple Kepler. Kepler is basically your basically your Rota, so to speak. So. So its pendulum effect set is basically the same thing. You cannot pendulum, pen, pendulum summon except for DD monsters, the, and and of course the effect cannot be negated. Once per turn during your standby phase, reduce this card's pendulum scale by two, minimum one, then destroy all monster control with a level greater than or equal to this card's pendulum scale except DD monsters. That doesn't matter because even though because even because it has a scale of ten, so you so you so you're gonna want to just pen summon with Kepler only one time and then just ditch it. Which, which at that point it really doesn't matter. But its monster effect is where it really is really it's basically Rota. So so it says so it says if this card is normal special summon, you can activate one of these effects and as once per turn target one other DD card you control, return it to the hand, add a dark contract from your deck to your hand. So you can either compulse one of your one of your DD cards back to the hand, or you can Rota out one of your dark contract spell or traps 
directly to your hand, which is just absolutely insane. Moving on into the regular to the regular effect monsters. First up, we have two copies of Double D Pandora. Basically, 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 what what the card does is that is that if is that if she's sent from from if she's if she's sent from the field to the grave by battle or by or by card effect, and you have and, and you don't have any other cards on the field, you basically get to draw two cards. So it's 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 essentially a pot of greed, which is pretty good, but at the same time, it's bad because you're gonna be having because you're gonna be having a board full full of cards. So the this card is, is just pretty much just dead. It's pretty much dead. But but. What's cool about this is that it's a level five, which can help you, which can help you go into into a level eight play or even a level seven play if need be. Speaking of tuners, we have the one copy of DD Ghost. I've all I've already talked about Ghost before, but if you guys have did not see the original Triple D Death, death Profile, if this card is sent to the grave, you can target a DD monster or draw a contract card in your grave. Accept this card. Send one card from your deck to the grave with that name, with that name. So basically, if you have Basically, if you have if you have Pandora in 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 your graveyard, you can target the second copy of Pandora and and just fools barrel it directly to your graveyard. That way, it's that way you don't have to deal with that brick in in the deck. So this card, so Pandora is is essentially the brick of, of, of the deck, unless if you're able to, unless if you're able to summon it off of the effects of um. Unless if you're able to summon it off of the effects, I believe of I believe, which one was it? Um, think you, yeah, yeah. So if you're able to summon Pandora off of the effects of Go, of Go King Rage, you're basically just off to the races there. So, but but it also, but it also ha ha has another effect. Where it says, if this card is banished, you can target a, target one of your banished DD monsters or dark contract cards. Accept this card, return it to the graveyard. So it's essentially, so it's essentially, I want to say foolish graveyard, foolish burial, sort of. So base, so it's basically that. And then, and then to round out all of the all of the DD monsters, we have triple copies of of double D swirl slime. This is basically your 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 polymerization that that activates in in the hand. Then we have triple copies of of necro slime, which is basically polymerization that activates in the graveyard. Triple copies of triple D lamia, where where its effect reads: If this card is in your hand or grave, you can send one DD or dark contra card from your hand or face up face up from your field to the grave. Except this card, special summons card, but banish when when it leaves the field. You can use this effect once per turn. So. Yeah, it is. It is unfortunate that, that you banish it. They have to banish it, but obviously, but there. Are, but in this deck, there are no ways to to bypass it at all. There, there's really no way. So you would have have to use it as as single material to summon cards like potentially Formula Synchron or even also Gus King Alexander. Now for the one card that can basically take all of your all of your Dark Fiends and put them back into the graveyard when they're banished. And that is Doomsday Horror. I never thought that this card would ever be useful again, even though I have it in my Dark World deck, which I do plan on updating at some point. I don't know how though. I'm still trying to figure that out. But but Doomsday Horror's effect is absolutely nuts because the effect reads reads this, this card's attack and defense are equal to the number of banished Dark Monsters times 300. If this card is destroyed and sent to the grave, return all banished Dark Monsters to the graveyard. So. Obviously, it works both ways. Obviously, you you send cards from both your from your banish pile and your opponents, and they both go go to both of your graveyards. So this card is just really good. It basically just ensures you're able to to have more resources in in your graveyard for cards like for for cards like Flame High King Genghis, Flame King Genghis, uh, Gus High King, Gus High King King Alexander. And what not. So this card is just absolutely nuts. Moving on into the spells, we have we have two copies of Allure of Darkness. Only two this time. I needed to make, make I needed to make some room for um for Destiny King Zero Lapis. So so only two copies. Plus it works well in conjunction with with, with the Doom, with the Doomsday Horror. Two where are where art thou? This is basically your Rhoda, so to speak. 
where basically where the card reads, if you control a level one monster, add a level one monster from your deck to your hand. During the end phase of this turn, take 2,000 damage. If you did not normal summon the added monster or a card with the same name after activating this card, it works perfectly with Oracle King Dark Pips. Instead of taking taking the damage, you basically gain that light. You you basically gain that as life points, which is just absolutely insane. Monster Reborn, you gotta have Monster Reborn. Call call obviously call by. You gotta make sure that your plays actually go through, even though. Even though, even though you have, even though you have your King Rage, this card also ensures that that, that your plays go through. Triple copies of Dark Contract with the Gate. This is basically your Rota for the whole deck itself. You do have to take 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 a thousand damage, but as long as you have Oracle King Dark on the field, you are you're essentially you're essentially just good to go, and you're going to be able to have so many life points to the point where you don't even have where you don't have to worry about paying paying for life points. Then we have also Dark Contract with the Swamp King. I might take this out. I might take take this out because of the fact that we already have um we already have the Necro Slime and the Swirl Slime. So I might take this out and I might have to add in um I may I may have to add in something else. But I don't know what though. I'm still like trying to figure out like what to add to this to this. I may I might add Harpy's Feather Duster, but I'm I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Let me know in the comments below what you guys what card you guys think I, I should replace Swamp King with. Because uh, because we already have because because you already have the three copies of 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 Swirl Slime and, and Necro Slime. You don't really need another form of poly, of poly in in the deck, so 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 again, let me know. Let me know in the comments. And then to round out the spells, we have the new field spell for for the archetype. It is called the City of Patent Dark Contract Documents. If you guys have never seen this card before, this card is just absolutely nuts. Because the effect reads: If your opponent special summons a monster or monsters of the same type, fusion synchro like Caesar Link as a as a DD monster, as a as a DD as a double as a DDD monster you control except during the damage step. You can activate this effect and inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. Also, they can also summon monsters of the same type as the summon monsters for the rest of this turn while this card is face up on the field. If this card is sent to the grave, you can add a DD monster from your grave or face up extract to your hand. You can use this effect once per turn. So it just basically ensures that your opponent just thinks carefully of what of what monster they want to summon from their extract, which is absolutely hilarious. And then moving on in in into the traps, there's only five in in this deck. So first up, we have Triple D Headhunt. This is one of the most broken trap cards I'd ever seen for the entire DD DD archetype. So the effect reads: If you control a DD monster, target a face up monster you can, your opponent controls. Take control of it until the end phase of the next turn. But its effects are negated. It cannot declare an attack. Also, if it was summoned from the extra deck, it is treated as a Triple D monster. You can only activate this card once. You can only activate one per turn. So Basically, it just ensures. So it's basically, it's basically snatch steal. That's all it is. It's basically, it's basically, it's basically snatch steal. But what's even more cool about this is that, is that if it were to be like say, like if you like if you you know what I think I'm gonna add. You know what I think I'm gonna do to to um to headhunt instead of the one swamp king because because if your opponent has two. Two level six monsters. Say, say for example, you can just use one. You can just activate one, snatch steal it. Wait until next turn. Ne next turn, activate the second one, snatch steal that, and you can go into a rank six play, such as Wave High King Caesar, which I'm actually contemplating taking this out because I realize I don't have any six star monsters in the deck. I don't have any six star monsters in the in the main. And the only like six star that's in the extra deck is Flame King Genghis, so I might I'm now contemplating this card honestly. But moving on, moving on, moving on. So it's basically it's basically Snatch Deal, which is pretty cool. Then we have Dark Contract, Dark Contract with the Eternal Darkness. This card is just absolutely busted, busted, and it's a continuous track card. So you so it's absolutely crazy. So 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 the effect reads: while you have two DD cards in your Pendulum Zones. Your opponent cannot target monsters on the field with spell with spell trap effects. 
tribute them for a tribute summon, or nor use them as material for a fusion single or XC summon. Once returned during during your standby phase, take a thousand damage. So basically, it, this this card just ensures that your opponent cannot cannot like do it. It, it basically just ensures your opponent can cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh at all. Which is just absolutely hilarious. And then to round out the whole, the main deck, we have two copies of Solemn Warning. Moving on into the extra deck, going from the fusions from the fusions to the links. First up, we have the first up we have Triple D Wave Oblivion, Oblivion King Caesar Ragnarok. Yes, that is a mouthful, but but it's but it's a pretty broken card because it only requires two tri two Triple D monsters, which is just absolutely insane. And the effect reads, once per turn, when, a, when an attack is declared involving this card, you can target one other DD, DD or Dark Contract card you control, return it to the hand. If you do, equip one face of monster report controls to this card, except the battling monster. This card gains attack equal to the combined original attack of the monsters equipped to it by this effect. So not only is this so not so not only is this a compulsory evacuation device, but you can all but you can also snatch steal one of your one of your opponent's monsters. And then just rel and then just relinquish and then just use use the relinquish effect to equip it to to Ragnarok and its attack point and, and its attack will go up to to God knows how 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 much attack which is absolutely insane so th so this card just basically ensures that your opponent just loses right off the bat which is just insane then we have Triple D Flame High King Genghis this is this acts as sort of like a monster reborn. For the, for for the deck itself, so so the effect reads: if, if another DD monster is normal special summon to your field while you control this card, while you control this monster, except during the damage step, you can target a DD monster in your grave special summon. So again, it acts as a monster reborn whenever you normal or special summon any of your DD monsters, which is just absolutely insane, absolutely insane. So again, it's it's essentially monster reborn, absolutely broken, absolutely broken, and it's obviously and it's also once per turn. Once per turn, you can when a spell trap. When a spell trap or effect is activated, you can negate the activation. So if so 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 say for example you activated a lore of darkness and, and your opponent activates a card like say Ash Blossom. With Genghis you can just neg you can negate Ash Blossom right off the bat and a lore of darkness would be live, which is just insane. Next up we have Triple D Oracle King Dark. So with this, because that, that you run because that that you run how many how many cards? Let's see, that would deal you damage. Let's see, one, two, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So seven, eight, nine. So because that you have nine cards in the in the main that deals you damage, those cards, instead of taking that damage, you basically gain gain gain, gain the life points, and it's a twenty eight hundred body on board. So basically, you're it base. So it's basically, it's basically, it's 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 almost as if your opponent is is activating multiple copies of of Upstar Goblin, where instead of them drawing drawing cards. You're just gaining gain life points, which is absolutely insane. And then for and then for for the last of the fusions, we have Triple D Flame King Genghis, the smaller version, where it's basically it's basically the same thing. If another DD monster is special summoned to your field, while you control this card, except during the damage step, target a DD monster in your grave, special summon it. You can only use this effect once per turn. And th and but this effect is where it gets really really interesting. If if this card is destroyed by battle, or this card in its own possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can target a dark contract you grave, add it to your hand. So you can basically, so you can basically, so you can basically add add contract with the gate. You can even also, funny enough, funny enough, as a bit of a jank sort 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 of like a sort of like a jank um, play. You can actually add the field spell because it counts as a dark contract, which is hilarious. You can add eternal darkness. You can even also add dark contract with the witch, which is also in, in which is actually in the side to your hand, which is absolutely insane. Now, now for for the synchros, first up we have one copy the 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 one copy of Baronet de Fleur. This card is just absolutely nuts. 
It's an omni negate. It's an it's an it's not it's not only not only can it be a MST slash trap hole, but it's also a solemn judgment. And not only that, not only that, it's a multi monster reborn. It's a multi it's basically monster reborn, which is absolutely nuts. So again, again, MST, trap hole, solemn judgment, monster reborn, and compulsory evacuation device, meaning Meaning you would have to send this card back back into your extra deck to reborn the monster that they targeted in your grave, which is absolutely nuts. Then we have Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon again. This is basically another um, basically another Omni Gate, which is just absolutely insane. Then we have then, then we have Triple D Curse King Siegfried. I know it's kind of a weird card. I know the I know that may sound weird that I'm running this card, but this card is as, 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 it's just nuts. So the event reads. So the effect reads: During either player's turn, you can target one face-up spell or trap on the field. That target has its effects negated. So it's essentially infinite impermanence, basically, which is absolutely. So it's essentially infinite impermanence before the back row, which is absolutely hilarious, but really good until the next standby phase. You can only use this effect once per turn. If this card is destroyed by battle, is destroyed by battle or card effects into the grave, gain a thousand life points for each dark contract you control. So if you have, let's say, one, two, three, you're gaining three, three thousand life points, and it basically just ensures that you win. As, as essentially, which is absolutely insane. Then we have Triple D Gust High King Alexander. This card is absolutely nuts because if you because if if you have three or more DDD, DDD monsters on the field, this card gains gains three thousand. So it basically just has it basically has it basically gets. 6,000 attack right off the bat, which is nuts. Its other effect reads, it reads, if another DD monster or monsters is normal spell summoned to your field while this monster is on the field, except during the damage step, you can target a DD monster in your grave, supposed to summon it. So, not, so not only, so not only is it a Megamorph, but it's also a monster reborn as well. There are multiple cards that allow you to resummon your, your DD monster from your grave to go into even more plays, and you're, and you'll, and essentially, you're going to be making a board where you essentially just win the duel. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Then we have the original Gus King, Gus King Alexander. It's not as powerful as High King Alexander, but its effects is still pretty good. So, 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 so his effect reads: If another DD monster is normal or supposed to summon to your field while you control this face-up card, except during the damage step. Target a level four lower DD monster in your grave. Supposed to summon. You can only use this effect once per turn. So obviously you will. So obviously, so obviously you have you have cards like Copernicus, Griffin, Kepler, Lamia, uh, Necro Slime, Swirl Slime, and even Ghost to to resummon. You can even also, funny enough, um, or actually, what? Or actually, I, I would say I would say you could summon Formula Synchron, but it's not a DD monster. But um, it's pretty. Pretty good, I'd say. It's a monster report, not too shabby. Then, of course, as, as I mentioned, Formula Synchron to help you go into Baronet de Flore, Crystal Wing, High King Alexander, or even also Siegfried, which is absolutely hilarious. Now I'm actually running an, an Exceeds monster that I'm actually regretting because I don't have any six-star monsters except for uh, Flame uh, except for Flame King Genghis. That's why I, I decided, decided to do two copies of Headhunt. It is none other than Triple D, Wave High King Caesar. If you guys have never seen, seen, seen this card before, the effect reads, when a spell or trap or monster effect is activated that includes an effect that supposed to summons a monster or a, that supposed to summons a monster, as a quick effect, you can detach a material from this card, negate the activation, and destroy that card. Then you can make one other DD monster control, and this card gains 1800 attack until the end of the turn. If this card is sent from, from the field to the grave, you can add a dark contract from your, grave, from, from your deck to your hand. So not only is it a so not only is this a solemn judgment, but it but it also gains attack right off the bat. So twenty eight, that's what thirty six, if I'm correct. Twenty eight. Yeah, twenty eight. Or actually forty six hundred. I'm I'm actually mis I actually mistook that. I actually mis mistook that. But yeah, basically you gain it gains almost five thousand attack, which is absolutely nuts. 
And if it's sent to the grave, you can add a dark contract from your deck. It's spell and trap. It's spell and trap Rhoda, which is absolutely insane. Now and run. Now the next card, which is Triple D Omnisty King Des Machina, um, absolutely hilarious, absolutely broken. It's a, it is a rank ten. It's a rank ten dark fiend Xyz Pendulum with three three thousand attack and defense. I may have talked about this a couple times on on the channel, but if you guys have never seen this card before, its pendulum effect reads reads if you have a. If you have a card in your other pendulum zone, you can target one pendulum monster you control or in your grave. Special summon the card to your other special summon the, the card to your other pendulum zone. And if you do place the targeted monster in your pendulum zone, you can only use this effect once per turn. So it's essentially a, a way for you to get to get rage into your other pendulum zone because 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 Machina's scale is 10, rage is a rage's scale is zero. So you're basically able to summon pretty much almost any and any of your any of your other any of your other, any of your other DD monsters directly to your field, which is absolutely insane. Now it's monster effects where things get really, really in really insane. Cause cause the defect reads that you can also exceed someone's card by using a, a triple D monster control as material where you transfer its materials to this card. You can only control one one Triple D Omnisty King Death Machina in your monster zone. Once per chain, when a monster card your opponent controls activates its effect, that's a quick effect, you can detach two materials from this card, or destroy one dark contract card you control, and if you do, attach that opponent's card to this card as material. Once per turn, during your standby phase, you can place this card you can place this card in your pendulum zone if you wish. And it says you can, meaning Meaning you are given the right to to do that, but you really don't have to. Which you're most likely not going to, because it's a fucking three thousand body on board. It's a three thousand beat stick. You cannot go wrong with that. Next up, we have Triple D Duo Don King Kaliuga. This card basically just says you don't. You're, says that you can't play play any form of Yu-Gi-Oh. So so it's a big read. After after this card is succeeds something for the rest of the turn, other cards and their effects cannot be activated on the field. And other cards, cards effects in, on the field are negated. So it's essentially dark rule no more. But for both sides, which is absolutely, which is actually hilarious. Um, one, uh, let's see here. Once per turn, during other player's turn, during other player's turn, you, you can detach one excuse material from this card, destroy all spell and trap traps on the field. You can detach one excuse material from this card, target, target a dark contract spell trap in your grave, set that target. So... Now, so not only is it a double dark rule no more, but it's also, but it's also a, but it's also a, a MST, and you can and and you can also just and it's also a red reboot where you can just set a fucking a fucking spell trap to your background, which is absolutely hilarious, absolutely insane. So again, this card just basically says you can that your opponent cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh. Now for the links and to round out the extra deck, we have Triple D Abyss King Gilgamesh. This card is just really good, really, gen really, really good. The effect reads: If this card is special summoned, you can activate this effect. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except DD monsters. Also, place two DD pendulum monsters with different names from your deck in your pendulum zones. And if you do, take a thousand damage. Again, works perfect with works perfect with Oracle King Dark, where you don't deal be where you're not dealt damage. You just gain gain the life points, so you have have essentially a free pendulum summon right off the bat. Um, let's see here. If, if, let's see here. If the, if this Link Summon card is destroyed by battle with an opponent, with an opponent's attacking monster or by an opponent's card effect while in its owner's, owner's monster zone, which could be the main or the extra monster zone, of course, you can supposed to summon a DD monster from your extra deck or graveyard, graveyard in defense position. You can only use the, each effect once per turn. So, this actually works perfect with, um, with, with, with Wave King Caesar, because what's cool, well, because what's cool about this is that, is that, is that basically, is that it's basically just another twenty eight hundred buddy on board, which is absolutely which is absolutely nuts. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch out the, is that not not right the second, but sometime to sometime later on, I'm I'm gonna switch up the side deck a little bit and make sure that. That rag, uh, that uh, sees that wave king sees against against materials, and then to round out the act, the extra deck, we have the one, 
we have the one um the one Crystron Hawk Hawk Firebrax to go into none other than Formula Synchron. Moving on in into the side deck, it might be a bit sus, uh, but it actually works. First up, we have two cop we have two copies of Nibiru. Obviously, you don't want your opponent to to commit to to their board, and you want to make them question whether they want to com commit to their board. Two copies of Ash Blossom to ensure that your opponent does not does not play any any Yu-Gi-Oh! And of course, two copies of Draw of Draw and Lockbird if your opponent ends up adding cards to their hand. Which is absolutely hilarious. Uh, then we have as well uh, the one copy of Ally of Justice Decisive Armor. The card speaks for itself. I've talked about it multiple times on the channel. Don't need to explain what it does. Basically, it just says your opponent can't play Yu Gi Oh at all. And speaking of not playing Yu Gi Oh, we have Cyber Dragon Infinity, in which case you go into Zeus and you're pretty much just done from there. The game is pretty much over. Then we have two copies of Twin Twister, one copy of Dark Contract with the Witch. This is kind of an odd one, but it's actually really good. So its effect reads, read, you can send one DD or Dark Contract card from your hand to the grave, then target a card on the field and destroy it. You can only use this effect once per turn. All Fiend Time Monster Control gain, gain a thousand attack during your opponent's turn only. Once per turn during, during your standby phase, take a thousand damage. So basically, it just ensures that, again, it's, bas it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like, um... Un, 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 was it Unending Nightmare, I think? Was it Unending Nightmare, I believe? I believe it is. Un... Let's see. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I thought so. So basically, basically it's another form of Unending Nightmare, but, but instead of, um, but instead of paying life points, you basically just have to send, send a DD or, or Dark Contra card to your, to your graveyard, which is absolutely hilarious. Then, and then, and then last but not least, to round out the whole side deck, we have three copies of, of Waking the Dragon to Summon, obviously Decisive Armor. And Infinity to help me go into Zeus. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out... Take out one Waking the Dragon. And take out... I think I'm going to... Get, I think I'm going to take take it out and just do... Um, Xyz Import. And the reason being... And the reason why I, I want to do Xyz Import... In, into the side... Is because of the fact that... Is, is, is because of the fact that there might not be there may not be there may be times in the match where there might not, not there might not be a way to summon Wave King Caesar and if you have Flame King Genghis and your two headhunts in your graveyard you're not you're not gonna have any any way, any way to bring bring it out so your only hope is Gilgamesh and once you do that you would you would need to activate XC's import for you to have materials on it so you can trigger its effect so I'm actually gonna do this what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a second a second import by taking out a copy of Nibiru. So I do apologize if, if, if I switched it up right now, but I am I but I am gonna do that just because I know that there might not be ways to um there might not be ways for you to actually go into your play go into your Wave King Caesar place. But with that being said, that is actually going to do it for this video. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this deck. And that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys are new, are new to the channel. And if you guys want to see more deck profiles in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links will be in the description below. And if you guys have any fan mail you want to send me and want me to open up on the channel, my address will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.